Hello everyone, this is Aida Golami from Agrimasaf Research Lab and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to add data in QGIS. So uh, adding data is like a really huge um, topic but as always I want to explain the most common uh, you know ways to solve this problem so the most common ways that you will use you probably will need uh, to use for adding data okay so you first can see this project edit view layer this ribbon in here okay click on layer and then you can see the add layer option so that's where we should go through so you can see add layer in here and then you can see add vector layer raster layer mesh layer and add delimited text layer all i want to do in this video today is for these three options add delimited text layer raster and vector but first of all you should know the difference between raster and vector so we know that vectors are made from dots points and lines or polygons so we first have points which only have x and y properties and nothing else no other information and then we can have uh, lines which um, you know connects the the two points and then we can have polygons which connect those lines together so if you have a vector layer you can recognize that with that properties okay so if if that's vector or a raster what is raster rasters in other side in other side of vectors we have rasters rasters are pixeled so they have pixels uh, they have informations and in, stored in them okay for, so for example when you download satellite images when you zoom in uh, you can see for for rasters when you zoom in you can see these squares next to each other each of them are one color so rasters are pixeled out those pixels are colored or are categorized etc let's see what i exactly mean so first i want to add a vector layer i click on that the window opens up and then you can select the source type file directory database protocol so mine is file and then you do not need to change these and then you can select your vector data set so i click on those points and then i can see my database my file okay so then i will add it and you can see that's a vector so that's the polygon of my study area and uh, that's it so that's a vector and now let's add a raster so that we can see what is a raster so again i go to layer add layer add raster layer and then in here click on that to go for finding a, a raster layer so I select the whole zipped um, file I click add and close so you can see this is a raster so that was what I meant by the squares you can see these squares okay so I can zoom in and zoom out and you can see the pixels but there is nothing like this in this vector layer the, these are not pixeled even the lines are not pixeled out so you can see you cannot see any pixels in here but in raster yeah you can see the dem maps are also a good example of of raster layers so let's open another raster in here
that's also another raster you can see if i go for here you can see these squares okay these are pixeled out also the information they have stored in dm or digital elevation models are in type of elevation so they store elevation um information in each pixel okay so so that was for raster and vector i hope it's cleared but uh you can also change this this um showing type of the raster because this should not be in the gray scale you can go for you can see the layer styling in here but you also if you do not see it in here with for any reason you can just right click on the layer go for properties and then in symbology you can see all these um options okay so what I want to do is to go for palleted or unique values. I click on that and then the band one in here in color map, color ramp, I want to, let's say, have this one and then I click on cl classify. So I have six um, classes in my land use map this is a land use map okay so that's the six lay uh, six bands you can see six classes i'm sorry they are not bands but they are classes i have six classes that you can see them in here and then i click on classify then if i go for apply you can see my map is changed so i can now choose another um another color ramp or also i can change each of these colors separately so i go for that that's for um cities and this is for pastures i guess now that's for bare soil so even this color and then this one is for pastures so i want to have a light green then this is the green areas of croplands and then this one is uh gardens so i click apply and you can see that is a better image so that was how you can add a raster and also to change the colors in first place then you have another uh, you had another um, common option in here which was add delimited text layer this option is used when you want to add your excel files okay so you have utms then you have informations for that utms you have labels of them you have names of them you have i don't know uh, some more informations for those um x y's and using this uh, option in here you can add those files so i click on that and then you can see the file format which is readable for qgis is csv regular expression delimiter or custom delimiters so these are for text text uh, files so you can you can have csv or any other text file with delimiters so what are delimiters let me show you something in here so you can see in here uh, you can see a text file which i have opened that using notepad you can see i have id name utmx and utmy you can see these let me zoom in you can see these commas in here the delimiter in here is a comma so i have separated these words using comma as a delimiter okay so that was a quick you know a quick review so then i can also open a csv 
or any other text with defined delimiters. So let's open a CSV file in here. Um, let me find my data. So this one is a CSV file. You can see comma separated values file. So I select that, I click open, and then the CSV is correct. I go for, you can change the settings in here, but I do not because those are correct. So uh, the defaults are correct for me. Um, you can define the number of header lines to discard. I do not want that. You can check if the decimal separator is comma. So that's important. Uh, please uh, consider this option in here. You can have it if you want. So that's it. And then you go for geometry definition. So I have point coordinates. X value is UTMX. You can change if there if that's any other of these columns. Uh, and Y field is Y UTM. If you have Z field, you can select that also. I do not have. Then in geometry CRS, you should go for selecting the right coordinate system for your points. So mine is correct. Also WGS 84 UTM zone for uh, zone 30 north. So that's okay. Then you can see a preview of your data. Okay. So um, if I click add, you can see my data is added in here if you want to see it better i can go for um coloring them as red and also changing the size so that you can see them better okay uh then let's go for adding another way of these text files with with text files okay so adding this text delimiters files with the text format so i click on these dots again and let's say i want to have this one i click open and then the regular expression delimiter is checked automatically so that's correct if it's not you can check it in the previous section so now with this delimiters, uh, with this delimiter is okay, it's okay. But if I, for example, have a space, then you can see it's not correct. It doesn't, um, it doesn't separate them. Okay, but with comma, it does. So that's a correct expression. Then the other settings, which I told you, and then in here, you have point coordinates of X field, UTMX, Y field, UTMY. And the geometry CRS in here is incorrect. I should go for selecting my um, coordinating system again. So that's WGS84 utm zone 40 nor uh, north yeah that's it i click ok add close so you can see my other file is added also so i can change the size you can see the yellow dots in here if i turn off this layer also you can see it better maybe so that's it for today's video i hope you learned something new please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel i will see you in the next videos and bye